Hello, welcome to another stash video for 2022. We've got quite a few different brands in this stash, um, which was from Charlton Fireworks in Manchester. Um, we've got some rockets from uh, prestigious pyrotechnics and one of their newer pieces uh, in the spirit range called Frozen Spirit, which looks really good. Um, we've got some ones from York, some ones from Hallmark and good old Celtic Fireworks as well. So to start with, I may as well start with the rockets because labels on the top. So Lightning Hawks, they've been out a while. I don't know if they've had a revamp or not. Um, somewhere I read said they had 63 grams NEC, um, but I think they've got 68. So I don't know if it's a typo or whether they've brought in a new product here, but obviously the Cat 3 hook type rockets, um, they're 1.3 G effects as well. So they're top end. Uh, you get five in a pack there, obviously, all different sort of flavours. And they're imported from Vivid Pyrotechnics. So I don't know if they're similar to um, what are Vivid's called. I think they're called Reapers, maybe. I don't know if they're the same or not. Um, I have seen these fired a good few years back, and they were good. Um, some really good hang time in the, uh, the crowns. So maybe they've improved them so we'll give them a go this year see how they are um, something a bit different I, I didn't have any rockets last year uh, but it'd be, it'd be good to uh, get back into it so there they are obviously the standard um, hawk type shape there big plastic sort of casing on them and they are all labeled as well i think if i can get the camera to focus there we go so that's rocket B, so they're A, B, C, D and E. And there you go, 68 grams uh, NEC. And then, yeah, it says import to Vivid. So I don't know if they're the same or whether they just import stuff for them, I don't know. Uh, but very nice, nice nice packaging as well. And they'll, they'll be good for 1.3. Um, can't go wrong with a Hawk rocket, really. What else have we got? Uh, I've got an old, old, well, I say an old one. I thought they were going to... Celtic were going to uh, change their range and get rid of a few things, but um, Celtic Dawn being one of them. But they've re, uh, re wrapped them in the new labelling, so they must have had a shipment through. Uh, I'll just bring it in there. So, good old uh, Celtic or Celtic, however you want to say it, um, they do like purple in the fireworks, certainly purple and green, and it they do go together as a good combo, to be fair. And that's one of the reasons for getting this. And I've never had it before as well. So um, as it says there, it's a 25 shotter, purple tail to purple peony, green tail to green peony. And they have like a gold strobe effect uh, as a secondary effect behind them, which is really nice. It looks more like a copper color in the videos I've seen. Um, so we'll see what it looks like uh, in the flesh and 180 grams NEC. It's ideal for sort of backyard displays because it's cap two. So uh, you only need an eight meter safety distance for the firing, I think. Although it says 25 meters for spectators, so there you go. It's obviously on the punchy end. Um, so it's just under 30 seconds duration, which is about standard for a small cake this size and 20 millimeter bore. Uh, but with it being peonies, that shouldn't really make too much difference. The brake should be fairly even on those. Um, so yeah. That's one I've I thought it got, I got away from me, but um, managed to pick that up. So next uh, we'll go for Jorg or Yorgi or Jorge or George, however you want to say them. Fairly new one called Sticks. Um, obviously, compared to um, Celtic Dawn, the tube size, sorry, tube length is just that little bit bigger. Um, so I'm hoping they'll, they'll go a bit higher. So it's um, 26 mil, yeah, 26 mil um, bore size there. So there should be some decent um, size breaks. And there it says, obviously, the effects is actually written on here. So blue tails to white strobe, red tail to Corolla. Now I think it's like um, a um, like a yellow color in some of the videos I've seen. So I want to. I want to see what it's like. It, it may be just like gold glitter in there. Um, I don't think they've been fully um, fully correct on the description there, but we'll see. 
Um, certainly if it's got like a white um, peony strobe, that's a bit different. Um, that'll be ideal to mix up in my uh, back garden display later in the year. Uh, again, cap two, so eight meter safety distance there. And 240 grams NEC. Um, so another nice little compact product there from uh, Jorg, I'm gonna call them. Then uh, I've got two of these. I think I've got up two of the same now. These are quite heavy. Um, there's loads of gender reveal cakes on the market. Some are better than others. Now, obviously, you, you'd be boy or girl, blue or pink. Pink one, certainly for me, if it's in a display at home, just gives that little bit of something extra um, because you don't see pink very often. It's a really hard effect to get. I've seen some pink fireworks. I think there's one from Jonathan's and some of them look red to me. It's a really difficult color to pin down. Um, so I've got one of each. Um, the indication, if you want to know, there, look, blue in the corner. So this is the blue one. Uh, just under 500 grams NEC, it is heavy, uh, but it's only cap two. <laughs> Do not hold. So um, we'll see how that goes. Um, but they are like uh, peonies, which is standard. So some of the, um, there's one that Celtic do and it's it's like pretty standard and, and gender neutral until like the final few bursts. But at least these, um, these ones from Hallmark, uh, the pink one and the, uh, and the blue one, um, at least they're uh, pretty much all the way through and you know what you're getting. So I'll give them a go and I've got uh, another one from Jorg. I had my eye on this uh, last year. Didn't quite have the funds to get it, so I've got it this year, uh, Piranha. So this is very similar to uh, Yoran, if you remember that one. Um, so it's like swimming stars, swimming fish, whatever you want to call them. Um, 18 mil bore, so they're quite small bore, which is the same, um, I think, with um, Yoran that I fired last year. Except, obviously, there's way more shots in this, uh, 49 shots. So um, a lot better duration, the video looks very good and it's low noise um, and they, they do make like a whirring sound when they, when they shoot up and turn. Um, it's a really unique effect, I love it and I love the noise that they make, it's really low noise though. It's quite eerie sound. So um, I've been looking forward to that, so that's one again for Bonfire Night. I'll probably scratch the itch and shoot some of these beforehand to be fair. But um, we'll see how we go. Uh, another low noise piece here from Celtic uh, Fluffy, 16 shot. Um, I wanna see what it says on the description here because I don't know quite how you would call the first effect. Uh, so it says 16 shot, silver butterfly, uh, silver butterfly spit, red tail, Silver butterfly spit, blue tail. So how I'd describe it, it's almost like a spinning comet. Um, hard to explain. It's quite fizzy to start with, goes straight up. Uh, and then you either get a red or a blue sort of uh, comet slash pearl effect. So quite unique again, low noise, something to break up a display, small as well. So it's cat too, so it's suitable for most gardens. Uh, not much NEC, but it doesn't need to be for a comet cake, really. That's kind of what it is. Um, just a bit more uh, uh, sort of professional. Um, so uh, only 147.2 grams there, NEC. Um, so yeah, something different. Uh, the, the red label stuff, obviously, from, uh, from Celtic is the low noise stuff, and the, uh, the black label's the standard. And it's 37 seconds duration, you know, quite cheap these are. Um, have a look on the website, I'll put the link uh, in the description for you to have a look. Um, so yeah, really good value for money. Um, not noisy, suitable for most gardens and good for breaking up displays really. Just add a, an extra dynamic to them. And then another one that I, I was really worried that um, Celtic had stopped making these or were going to stop making them. I know they sold out, I think. 
um, but they've uh, they've got the new labeling on so tequila sunrise I thought it was the one that got away it's not so this is my display this year um, it's another 16 shot cap 2 cake um, but this has got uh, blue and like copper peonies um, so again it's just something a bit different really for my display 200 grams NEC there um, 15 meter safety distance for that but it's 25 mil bore and just under 30 seconds for the duration um, so that's a nice little one I'm glad I managed to find that to be fair um, I suppose eventually I might just fire everything in uh, in Celtics range but we're a way off I won't bother with the um, Hallmark cake there for um, that's just the pink version the NEC is exactly the same I think there's nothing really to say other than it's a pink peony um, and it's very sort of unique normal displays as well as it doesn't have to be gender revealed to be fair I'd quite happily have a blue cake and a and a uh, and a, a pink cake in there I don't know if they'll do a gender neutral one but you never know um, but this is the uh, the final one here we've got uh, I've really been looking forward to this uh, frozen spirit 49 shot one of the spirit series from prestigious pyrotechnics I have to say I've seen all of them fired apart from this and they're all probably on a 9 out of 10 um, and I've never given anything 10 out of 10 I don't don't really want to because that's suggesting a firework is perfect um, so yeah, these are these are so close to perfection, to be fair. And I've got high hopes for this one. This one's a bit different from the others. The um, the sort of pace of it's a lot different. Um, it's God, seven hundred and fifty nine point five gram NEC. That's fantastic. Obviously, it's Cat three, so you need a big garden. You need to be twenty five meters away while the spectators do, and the fire needs to be fifteen meters. Um, and the description here, so I'll read it out for you. 49 shot silver comic tail, um, colour tail gold willow with white strobe, very nice effect. Uh, silver comic tail um, to gold willow, gold strobe, now that's the one I'm interested in, the gold willow. It's got really vibrant sort of yellow tips on the uh, on the tails of the um, the willows, which it looks the biz on the vids. So uh, I'm hoping it will be uh, in real life. I don't know if they're China videos or UK videos, but this is one I, I probably will have to scratch the itch and fire this um, just to see what it's like. So I'm, I'm really, really excited for it. Um, where were we anyway? I, I, I stopped in I Silver Comic Tail to a Gold Willow Red Strobe and Silver Comic Tail, uh, Colour Tail to Green Willow with White Strobe. So it's got a bit of everything in really. Uh, but it just looks an exquisite uh, effect. It'll be 1.3G for sure from the video I've seen. Um, so yeah, uh, should be should be the biz. So that's uh, Frozen Spirit, the fourth in the series. Um, I'm hoping they'll do some more to be fair. They're that good. Um, my personal favourite was, um, oh God, White Spirit. Um, but Frozen Spirit might actually uh, tip it over. So there you go. Um, I hope you have enjoyed the video. Um, there'll be more to come, I'm sure, as the year goes on and new products come out. I'll probably um, save up and get some more bits. Um, but that's it for now, folks. Um, I hope you like the vid. So please like, subscribe if you haven't already. Um, leave any comments if you want on the videos. I'll always reply to you. Um, but take care. And I'll see you on the next vid.